Hi, my name is Evan Hardis, Senior Product Manager for the Hub and Edge portfolio here at SmartThings. Today, I have the pleasure of sharing exciting updates to our new SmartThings Edge framework. Over the past several years, SmartThings has been committed to evolving our platform to ensure we're providing meaningful and connected smart home experiences that are simple for users to set up and maintain, while also providing an open ecosystem for developers and partners to create and share a wide array of integrations that extend the capabilities of our devices on our platform even further. As discussed at last year's SDC Tech Sessions, a big part of this platform evolution has involved the introduction of edge drivers for hub-connected devices. As a quick refresher, hub-connected devices are smart devices that connect directly to SmartThings-compatible hubs, such as V2, V3, and AOTech-branded hubs. These devices typically work over mesh protocols such as Z-Wave or Zigbee and represent a diverse group of product categories, such as lighting and environmental sensing. Up until very recently, Groovy device type handlers, or DTHs, were used to facilitate control of hub-connected devices on the SmartThings platform. However, this resulted in significant disadvantages for our users. For example, most DTHs could not run locally on hubs, creating a cloud dependency that impacted device latency and reliability. Additionally, Groovy DTHs required complicated operations within our IDE to distribute and share custom code to other users. SmartThings Edge, our new framework to facilitate local communication and control of hub-connected devices has been designed to address these issues. Utilizing the Lua scripting language, edge drivers provide developers and partners with an easy to learn, easy to implement, and shareable way to create hub-connected device integrations on the SmartThings platform. Overall, we've designed edge drivers to provide end users with simplicity and dependability they've asked for while at the same time providing flexibility and scalability for our developer and partner community. During August 2021, we officially launched an open beta period for SmartThings Edge. This beta period included the release of tools and documentation to provide our developer and partner community with a head start in transitioning existing Groovy DTH integrations to Edge drivers. Additionally, our internal development teams worked hard to port many of the existing SmartThings published DTHs to Edge drivers, ensuring a seamless experience for our users as we embark on this transition. Here to talk to you more about these porting efforts is my colleague, Alyssa Dornboss. Thanks, Evan. I'd like to take a deeper dive into Edge drivers. In particular, the work that we've done at SmartThings to transition many of the SmartThings published Groovy DTHs to Edge drivers to ensure a seamless transition for our valued users, a walkthrough of the process of onboarding an edge-based device and setting up an automation with an edge device that runs locally. To start, it's important to point out that edge drivers are currently supported on SmartThings SCH ST Wi-Fi, V2 and V3 hubs with a minimum firmware version of 43, AOTech Smart Home hubs, 2022 TV smart monitor and refrigerator models with hub capability. As Evan previously mentioned, many of the Groovy-based device type handlers, DTHs, were unable to run locally on hubs, forcing most hub-connected devices to be reliant on the cloud. Additionally, it was overly complicated for our developers to distribute and share their creations with other users within the SmartThings community. With these limitations in mind, we sought to make it easier for users of all skill levels to benefit from local device execution and also provide our developers with the true developer-grade tools to integrate faster and more effectively. The SmartThings Edge drivers were written in the Lua scripting language, chosen because it's lightweight, easy to learn, and easy to implement. Developers can leverage a significant set of libraries provided by SmartThings to support devices of several protocols. In fact, our development team has ported SmartThings published DTHs to Edge drivers, ensuring the transition from Groovy to Edge will be a seamless experience. Starting earlier this year, if a user onboards a new Hub Connect device that is compatible with the SmartThings published Edge driver, that device will onboard with that driver automatically without any intervention required from that user. With respect to developers, once their Edge integration works the way they desire, they can create or add to an existing driver channel. Channels provide a way for developers to create collections of drivers and share them with others through a simple URL. Should a developer want to fix a bug or add a feature to their drivers, they can release those changes to the channel and all users will automatically receive those updates. Users benefit from a developer's creation by simply clicking the URL and authorizing the driver channel in a web-based prompt. Once Edge drivers are assigned to users' devices 
any automation created that exclusively includes Edge back devices will now run locally. SmartThings Edge is available use today and supports Z-Wave, Zigbee, and LAN connected devices, and is also the mechanism to use to support Matter devices on our platform. Therefore, the experience today gained while developing Edge drivers for one particular protocol, such as Zigbee, can be leveraged for other protocols, such as Matter. Thank you, Alyssa, for all the hard work from your team. Your efforts have helped to ensure that this transition will be as seamless as possible for our users. The most exciting part of these announcements is that the transition to Edge has already begun. Earlier this year, we started the process of routing newly onboarded hub-connected devices to Edge drivers and began automatically migrating hub-connected devices from Groovy DTHs to Edge drivers. As was recently announced, the deprecation of Groovy has begun. So we will continue the process of migrating Groovy DTH back devices to Edge drivers while working hard to ensure a seamless transition for our users. To recap, SmartThings Edge drivers are supported by the following hub-capable products, V2, V3 AOTech, and ST Wi-Fi hubs, along with select Samsung TV and refrigerator models released in 2022. A few years ago, SmartThings announced that we were shifting the source of standalone hubs from Samsung to AOTech. Since that time, AOTech has been a reliable partner, supplying and supporting new customers interested in using SmartThings hub technology to build their smart home setups. In parallel, We've been working to integrate SmartThings hub capabilities directly into Samsung surfaces, enabling millions of devices to join our platform without the purchase of dedicated hardware. Earlier this year, we successfully launched hub-capable televisions, smart monitors, and refrigerators, and plan to launch even more products with hub capability built in during 2023. These products support edge drivers and will be compatible with both Zigbee and Matter devices. With the process of integrating hub functionality into a variety of Samsung surfaces completed, we're setting our eyes on how we can provide even more intelligent and meaningful user experiences with those devices, elevating functionality and interoperability within the smart home. Today, I'm here to provide a sneak peek of a few of the features we're actively developing as a part of our AV Edge framework. The first feature involves utilizing SmartThings compatible cameras to send video streams to Edge devices, such as your Samsung TV, that are capable of processing video clips locally. This means we can keep data both reliable and secure within a user's home. Even more possibilities become available when we process videos locally. For example, our Edge devices can detect motion and human presence from video streams. It can also recognize individual users. This means local automations can be triggered depending on who has been detected. A second feature of the AV Edge platform is the ability to create meaningful video summaries of the day directly on an Edge device. One scenario would involve setting up multiple cameras inside your home to monitor pets. Using the videos captured by your cameras and stored locally, we can combine and create a single highlight video that provides a summary of all activity recorded that day. What's better than being greeted by a highlight reel of your puppy's day when you come home from work? Finally, speaking of pets, our pet care services are specially designed for your pet. If a microphone in your home picks up your dog's barking or your cat's meowing, our edge devices can process and recognize those sounds locally. When detecting those sounds, edge devices will be able to initiate automations that include examples such as running a pet customized mode for an air purifier and turning on the TV to play some pet soothing videos. All of these features are actively in development and will be showcased at the SmartThings Edge booth at the SDC 2022 event. Visit us to check out the future of the Evolve SmartThings Edge platform. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the event.